There are over 130,000 people in Massachusetts with Alzheimer's disease, and that number is only expected to climb. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming explains what the state is doing to assist the growing need. Alzheimer's and dementia are expected to grow in the coming years, and several bills on Beacon Hill are trying to take on what the future could hold. One bill would require that Mass Health have a dementia care coordinator program for those diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or dementia. Representative Wen and Senator Mark are addressing this crisis by sponsoring a bill that would create a certified nursing assistant pilot program, which would offer free training and testing for up to 1,000 people. Advocates are also pushing for legislation by Representative Garlick and Senator Gomez that would create a public awareness campaign and create a new position in government for dementia care and coordination. Alzheimer's and dementia is a public health issue. It's often unfortunately thought of as an aging issue. Alzheimer's and dementia is not a normal part of aging. So when we think about Alzheimer's as a public health issue, we think about that the burden is large, the impact is major, and interventions can make a difference. Lastly, Representative Ayers is sponsoring a bill that would remove the requirement that someone must be 60 years or older to qualify for a mass health waiver for early onset dementia. The Alzheimer's Association has a 24-7 helpline for those looking for care or who simply just have questions. You can find that number on our website at www.lp.com. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.